I think it's just really important that people recognize you can connect with whoever you want to just doing a podcast like this. And I did that for five years. And that's how I met a lot of the relationships that I have today. Would you say that has a direct indication to your net worth? Like your network is your net worth? 100% yes. Back in the day, my network was net. My network, even today, is like more just like people I work with, bartenders and stuff like that. So never really had like a super massive network. And I hope that this podcast can, like you said, build on, build upon that because you, I believe you just have to offer value to people. And yeah, I'm still 100%. trying to, I'm still trying to figure out how this podcast can be valuable to people, but if I can help share their message and get them out there more, and at least even if they just get one deal from the podcast and they sell a super high ticket product, they can, it's worth it. But why do they have to sell a deal to be valuable? Like you and I just having a conversation is valuable okay. enough where we don't have to sell anything to make uh, each other's lives enhanced. Now we're in the future. So I never take the premise of I'm coming on a show to sell anything. That's not the purpose okay. of going on a show. It's to build a relationship with the, the person, get to know them, have a conversation, and then eventually like it'll pan out down the road that we do something together or maybe not but at least we'll have had some interaction um before doing business or before getting a referral or before selling anything so i guess i looked at the podcast so you um you did podcasting so it's, it's good I'm, i can talk to you about this i looked at podcasting as a way to because um i wanted to offer value you know what i mean like the way i guess my perception of the value was like the only reason people are going to take me seriously is if i can get them a customer because right now i'm not gonna lie i'm uh i'm a i'm not i'm not anyone special i'm like i'm special but like i'm not anyone special to someone who's doing multi-millions of dollars per year so well, is that true because i'm on your show so that's bullshit yeah, i know and i'm surprised you're on my show i'm like that's i'm just saying my thinking <laughs> my, let's my, crack this problem right now so Marcus, yes, that is my complete thinking. and utter bullshit let's like going forward today, okay. you don't have to think that you're invaluable or that just because somebody doesn't make a sale that makes you less than it. Like you are valuable because you asked for whatever, for me to be on this podcast or for anybody else to be on the podcast, they agreed and committed time to spend with you because they value the relationship. And as a result, like you get to do the thing that you love you get to learn and get educated and then you get to also as a result share with other people on the internet yeah so when i was when i was building this the guy i was learning from he said that the your podcast should benefit your guests that that's what they said like your podcast needs to benefit who you're talking to it needs to be all of like all about them which i agree and and, and he, he did say about re, like building a relationship and stuff like that like the pod, the goal of a podcast is to build a relationship yes yeah i do firmly agree with that but he also said that like uh well i guess i don't know if he said it or i just made it up in my head or whatever you but probably I, made some shit up in your head <laughs> <laughs> you know, like if but, your girlfriend wants you to be present you gotta start dumping this crap out of your head like you came up with this belief you came up with this timeline you came up with the like no that's irrelevant that's not okay yeah, so I came up with the, the I guess I came up with the, in my head that in order for a multimillionaire, I'm, we're talking about like the Sam Ovens, the Grant Cardones, the Dan Henrys, you specifically as well, to mm -hmm. take me seriously, someone who is not a multimillionaire, to take me seriously, I need to like get you customers. Like that's the only way that I feel like to provide value for you. Cause like, I'm thinking, why would they want to come on the show and just talk to me? That's what I'm thinking. Like, this is what's going through my head. I'm just being honest. So if they didn't want to do that, then we would just say no, because we say no all day, every day. That's a, like a word that we are very familiar with, and we have no problem using, and we give no explanations, and we provide no apologies. So it would just be a straight up, no, we're not going to do that. Just be like, no, I don't want to come on your show. Yeah. Have a good day. Like you asked me three times, like, are you sure? Like, are you coming? Like, yep, yep. Yeah. And the funny thing is, like, I was actually like, Marcos, you don't need to ask me. I've already committed myself. I already know what time this is going to be. I already know that I have to set aside like this is your time with me that's it like this is what we're doing i still have a lot of limiting beliefs i'm still working on so please please bear with that's me that's actually awesome that this is live and that we can work through this like in a format that allows other people to see that it's just not like a thing that they're struggling with but you're struggling with i come up with my own beliefs like and so all of us have a struggle in some capacity regardless of the level of success that we have yeah, I would say like my belief is more of like I guess I look at like people who are doing um 
very, very well or like doing millions of dollars and driving Lambos and Ferraris as, as like, you would, you, you would look at them more, and I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not the only one who does this, but you look at them further ahead and then like, you got to just do this like super immaculate thing to get their attention, to like want them to, to talk to you. That makes sense? Yeah, you mean asking them the question, can you be on my podcast? That's not a super immaculate thing. <sighs> to me, no, I don't think so. Like <laughs> personally, I'm like I'm like I don't I just don't see it. I don't know. It's just me. It's something I'm going to work through. Um starting with your next guest. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to work through before the next guest. Hopefully, hopefully we settle this, like get this settled no, right no now. Hopefully there's no, hopefully we're doing it or we're not doing it. So which one's it going to be? We're doing it. All get right. This so settled right now. To doing that. So now my value to you is going to be accountability. And I'm going to make damn sure that you actually follow through and commit to what you say you're going to going to do here. Oh, I will hundred percent. I'm going to make sure by asking you.